We GTA game is your fave. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because today we are building the main characters from every single Grand Theft Auto game, from GTA 3 all the way to the long-awaited GTA 6. If you want to jump directly to the part that interests you, use the timestamps in the video. Stick around till the end for a big bonus. Battle packs featuring characters from Groove Street and the Ballast Gang. Let's get this challenge started. First up, we have the main character from GTA 3. Claude. To create this figure, I used olive colored legs with dark brown boots, a black leather jacket, and a head with dark brown stubble and hair. Next, I created his girlfriend, Catalina. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that the Catalina from GTA 3 is the same Catalina who later becomes CJ's girlfriend? When I say just business, I mean that I love you. I won't lie to you. GTA 3 is the game I've played the least, so let's quickly <laughs> mow down some enemies with a minigun and let's go. Next up is Vice City. Let's take a trip down memory lane and build Tommy. I used custom bright blue pants and white shirt with patterns to capture his look. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the blue shirt with floral patterns, but I think this one works great. And those hair, oh, what a look. Add the baseball bat and Tommy's ready to roll. Now, let's tackle his partner. Lance Van. To make his figure, I used a perfect suit from the Batman series and a sharply angled hairstyle. Pretty spot on, right? Next up is Ken Rosenberg. I couldn't find the exact purple suit, so I swapped it out with something similar in color. But hey, the head and hair looks spot on, if you ask me. Now it's time to build the two main antagonists, Ricardo Diaz and Sonny Forelli. Tommy, it's time to take them down. And last but not least, I put together the iconic girl from the game's loading screen. Time for my favorite GTA game, San Andreas. We are starting with none other than CJ. I use custom light blue jeans with white sneakers, a white shirt, and a green bandana to represent Groove Street. CJ is all set for his first highs and last figura. Speaking of last figuras, have you checked out my latest LEGO City episode? Make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe to my channel. Today's episode is just a small update while you wait for the next part of the city build. Next up is CJ's partner, the updated version of Catalina who I mentioned when I was talking about GTA 3. Now for the figures I'm really proud of, Big Smoke and Ryder. For Ryder I use dark blue Harry Potter pants, custom dark green hoodie and a perfectly match head and hair combo from Cities and Brick. I don't know how about you, but I think this figure looks absolutely awesome. I even added a lighter and a little something extra for him to enjoy. For Big Smoke, I used dark blue pants, a custom green shirt that perfectly fit in head and a little hat. Our sneaky big guy obviously needs some snacks too. Lastly, with regular blue legs, a green torso and a dark green cap, I built Sweet. The Groove Street crew is ready to take over new territories. Oh no, it's Officer Stenpenny and Pulaski. I used standard cap uniforms for them. I had a bit of trouble finding the right hair for Pulaski, but I think this captured his fiery personality perfectly. From GTA San Andreas, I also built the most popular rapper, Mad Dog, and the rising star, OG Lock. Who do you think would win that beef? I completed the crew with the girl from the game's popular loading screen. GTA 4 is a bit of an oddball in the series. Some people forget it even exists, while those who played it think it's super underrated. To make Nico Bellic, I used blue sweatpants, a brown jacket with a fur collar, and a head with light stubble. Unfortunately, there's no short enough hair in LEGO, so our body will have to stay bald. I gave him a commando knife as an accessory. Of course, we can leave our hero alone, so I used a black pattern shirt, tan pants with printed boots, and Boromir's head from the Rivendell set to build his cousin, Roman Bellic. So, cousins, ready to find something to do? Lastly, I built the main antagonist from GTA 4, Dimitri Rascal. But I won't say much more than that he's got cool hair, because honestly, I don't remember the story too well. Time for a classic. GTA 5. To build Franklin, I used a sand blue shirt from an old collectible minifigure and one of my favorite pairs of legs from Ron Wesley. Added the brown head and short curly hair and our guy is ready. If we've built Franklin, we obviously can leave him without his buddy Lamar. For this character, I used some cool custom legs, plain black long sleeve, an angry brown head and a green cap. Lamar would definitely fit right in the Groove Street gang. And now, which car should we choose? Let's go with the red one. Let's race. To round out this fun duo, I added Franklin's early empire, Simeon Yeteria. For Michael, I went with a dark grey suit, an angry looking head, and slick back black hair. I gave him a slick classic pistol as a weapon. Classic. Maybe we should skip building his crazy family? Or should we? To build Amanda, I used a complete outfit from the Lego Friends set. And I mean the 
TV show Friends, uh, mm. not the Lego Friends series. I also added an older looking head and a cap with brown hair. Time for a game of pen, uh, I mean tennis, uh, with her trainer. Wow, she scored again. Interesting. The next characters I worked on are Michael's kids, Tracy and Jimmy. To build Tracy, I used a custom swimsuit and blonde hair. And what's this? Is she auditioning for another show? What the fuck? I gave Jimmy a sports hoodie and ripped jeans. I think the hair I picked really captures his vibe. And now for the biggest psycho in this series, Trevor. For him, I used custom shiny pants, a custom torso with a dirty undershirt, a head with a small scar, and receding hair. Of course, Trevor wouldn't be Trevor without his love, Patricia. Mr. Madrasu won't be happy about it. And finally, I added our favorite FIB agent and Lester. Man, I think Lester turned out really well. So, Franklin, who are we getting rid of? And now, what everyone's been waiting for. GTA 6. In one of my favorite concept art pieces for GTA 6, Lucia is wearing blue camo pants. I decided to swap them out with a supple leopard print from one of the collectible minifigures. For the torso, I went with a pink piece but had to erase the front design. Much better now. Finally, I added a tan head with confident smear and long brown hair tied back. Next up is her partner, Jason. Olive legs, a white tank top, a confident head and a hair with cap combo. Damn! that look perfect. Building battle packs from the Groove Seed and Ballast Gangs has been on my mind for a while, so it's time for that promise bond. Black legs with a custom print, a torso from Harry Potter, where I had to erase one side, a head and a purple cap. Just like that, we've got ourselves a ballast cap. What's that? Troubles coming? Time to build the ballast soldiers. For the first solder, I used legs with some mega cool sneakers, a purple tracksuit and those iconic rapper style hair pieces. Flex. Blue track pants, a custom black jacket and a grey hat and the ballast rookie is ready. The squad is rounded out by a couple of dudes handling uh, product distribution. Finally, I work on the gang leader. For the first one, I use custom legs from Tupac, a purple joker jacket and a black bandana. The boss's right hand man is the slick guy in a fancy adidas track. Now, let's arm up our game. You have to admit this crew looks pretty intimidating. Let's see what they can do in a battle. To build the Groove Street Scout, I use Robin's short, custom gray hoodie with headphones and blonde hair with a green bandana. Definitely a movie. Time for the muscle of the gang. The first soldier is built using green track pants, a custom torso with tattoos and a super Super cool head with stubble. This is probably one of my favorite figures. For the second soldier, I used old jeans, a cool green hoodie, and a green bandana. I added a head with stubble and black hair to finish him off. The Groove Street crew also has their own hacker, Troy. Black pants with a belt, a custom long sleeve shirt with a t shirt over it, and a black cap. This looks really good. The gang is completed by the plant dealer, also decked out in Groove Street color. Finally, we have CJ's right hand man. To build him, I used dark tan cargo pants, a regular green hoodie, and some fantastic hair picking out from under a green cap. Now that everyone's armed, it's time for a gang war. Who do you think will win? Let me know in the comments which figure you like the most and stay tuned for the next update from Las Figuras.